bit like Trump kind of there that so probably not the best intro hi uh, thank you for clicking on this video final part of the Panthers offense finally here worked a long time for this worked very hard played a couple of weekend leagues and it was pretty tough because the game is pretty tough this year but I hope that I'll make the game a lot easier by posting this video if you haven't yet please subscribe to the channel and uh, watch all the previous parts of this ebook this is very important because this entire offense strings together beautifully but you have to watch all the videos to get like everything there is to know about this offense also everything that I sh I've said in any video uh, on this offense is going to be written down in a document so please make sure to go over to my twitch link is in the description and uh, go leave a follow there i'll send you a whisper over on twitch for you guys that don't know whispering is kind of like the messaging or like direct message of twitter that's what it is on twitch so follow there i'll send you the stuff over and you'll have a lot of fun this uh, the um actual part of the, or the actual document actually contains a little bit more than just uh what i've shown on video so if you want to get a little bit more insight maybe that's the thing you also want to go for like i said twitch follow in the description this is going to be a pretty long video timestamps in the description i would recommend you guys to watch every part of the video at least once if you don't if you can manage it at once then obviously that's fine just go back to it i really of course on the one side on the one hand i want the watch time but on the other hand i just think that it's important you guys watch every play run and just kind of understand what I'm looking at during the play. So that's all I have to say. Bunch of offset and bun gun bunch halfback strong are in combination probably the best bunch of offense this year. Most of the pre uh, pros that run gun bunch uh, use that. And yes, let's talk about the audibles and the personnel, which are just as important as the actual place because you need good players to run this scheme. Let's get into it. Now talking about audibles, you don't ever, ever, ever want to have a running play as your audible in gun bunch offset. Offside. It's just not it's just not worth it spacing for which I usually post a uh, double post the outside zone get that out of here I want flood in there red sapphire under nah, I don't feel I don't feel that I want to put mesh post in there Those are my audibles depends on what you like most of course if you feel like PA dig fork is not your speed And you might want to, and you want to have I don't know C spot and go or verticals in there You want to keep verticals in there then that's totally up to you for me, I don't want to have a single run play in there because if I want to run the ball, so I'll just come out in, in any play. And I see, oh, my opponent is coming out in time one for six. How beautiful! I'll just audible to inside zone. I'll motion over. And I'll snap the ball. Pretty easy. Right there, terrible stick by me. But this inside zone, it's absolute killer. One more thing, if your opponent comes out in time one for six too much. Uh, you guys that are playing sweaty weekend league like the weekend league where it's about getting top 100. Put in a half pack right there. And just be the biggest asshole there can be in Madden right now. This is the sweatiest thing and I like it. It's beautiful. <laughs> Why? Why, did, Why did my control knock over my sprite? Uh, it's miserable. Have back dive, just audible down into any of these sets. The reason this works now because you're now in a 2 1 2 set, two halfbacks, one tight end, two wide receivers, and now you have access to all the formations that are in the 2 1 2 uh, formation package, sub package, I don't know. Nevertheless, this is killer. This is killer. You should use that as much as possible. They're gonna have to get into big nickel just because otherwise you'll just dominate them in the run game every step of the way. So make sure to take advantage of that. It's really glitchy. It's the most annoying thing in Madden this year, I think, in combination with man coverage. It's just, it's just terrible. But as long as it's in the game and you want to be an asshole, <laughs> go use that. Have fun. You're going to make a lot of people rage quit. That's all for audibles. And I, f I feel like it's important for you guys to know that little bit of a formation glitch. So with that being said, let's get into the man beaters. As I know, that's one of the most important things for any player in man right now. Because man, it's kind of tough. The abilities you need for this offense are pretty simple. And I'll go through it by showing you where you need the uh, specific players in the formation. So, come on, Chaffsa, that's the more, that's the better formation out of the two. But in combination with Halfback Strong, this 
Kanban draft, so it gets even better. So, we want Backfield Master. What is Backfield Master? It's an ability for your halfback that will allow your halfback to get specific routes that are not available for regular halfbacks that don't have this chemistry. Really good, you should definitely have it. It's one of the most popular things and one of the most powerful things about this formation because there are some routes in that are absolutely toast man coverage guaranteed and you always want that on your field. The next thing you need is slot apprentice. A wide receiver with slot apprentice, you want him in the slot, obviously, that'll give you some better routes. And if I were you, I would also invest having that uh, or having route technician on the guy that has slot apprentice. Just makes his route, routes a lot better and just guarantees to beat man coverage. So that's what I would recommend you guys to do just because it's nice to have the guarantee that he'll beat man coverage. I want to now talk about the tight end because this is one of the most important formation, uh, positions in the formation. You want a tight end that has 90 medium route running right there and the tight end apprentice chemistry or ability. Now, why is medium route running so important? Because if you don't have that, some of the routes that are supposed to beat man coverage don't do it. Uh, man coverage is really good this year if you guys have noticed that and you need 90 medium route running. So if I now go right here. Uh, where is it at? I think, I, yeah, right, I missed it. Um, I boosted uh, George Kittle up to 90 deep route, uh, medium route running. He only has 84. I boosted him up because I need him to beat man coverage to show this to you. 90 medium route running is very important. Some tight ends that have that are uh, John Michael Finley. I personally have Mark Andrews and I have play fake at tier 1 to get him to, uh, to have him get 1 extra medium route running let's talk about why we need that um, man coverage is killer like i just said and it is important to have 90 medium route running i want to talk about some routes that beat man coverage first and foremost because it really is about mixing it up and you can design your own place if you know which routes beat man coverage um let's come on in double post and on defense just so you guys know i am i'm going against 99 speed 99 zone and 99 main coverage cornerbacks so this is about also with the best uh, abilities let's not forget that so this is about as covered as covered as this will ever be um this tight end crossing route tight end apprentice remember toasts main coverage this corner route slot apprentice with the route technician toasts main coverage this angle route uh toasts main coverage these are just some of the audible routes that you can hit that absolutely destroy main coverage now this corner out from Julio Jones, toasts man coverage. The double post from Hopkins, toasts man coverage. We go into PA Dig Fork. This C route, toasts man coverage. Now these are just some of the routes that beat man coverage. Also, the tight end post beats man coverage. The Thomas post beats man coverage. A lot of different things, but those are just the most important ones to know. Now how do I design a play to beat man coverage? Well, it's very simple. You want to have as many man beating routes out there as possible but you don't want to have two receivers running next to each other so even though for example if you put this tight end on the crossing route even though the tight end beats main coverage and the corner route beats main coverage they're pretty much on top of each other, each other. they're in the same spot you don't want that so if i want to design a man beating play right here i would streak julio jones just to get him out of there then another thing that i can do i can put thomas on the corner route all right, man beating route once again. Very nice. Hopkins is already a man beating route, so I'm not going to change anything about that. And put my halfback on an angle route. That's one way to beat man coverage. Another way would be, let's just go post route on Thomas, drag route on. Or no, um, what I want. I could put uh, Thomas on a, on a post route, kill on a drag and yeah something like that that will also be fine against man coverage because it's some very nice spacing um i don't know if you guys need me to prove that each of these routes beat man beat man coverage but i'll just start off by showing that some of these routes beat man coverage i'll just clear out i just want to show the post now so right here you can see this gets inside of man coverage i guess i'll show you the crossing route also um yes but just trust me uh, all the routes that I just said, they beat man coverage. So, right there, you can see. And once again, that's about as well covered as it'll ever be. Uh, George Kittle has 90 speed, I think. 
and I have a 99 speed guy covering him. That's about as well as he'll ever get played. This corner round, I'll, ju I'll just show this to you guys. He gets outside right there very easily. Also, um, man press has been nerfed. So, just trust me that this gets open online. So, I'll just go with another setup. This is one of my favorite setups, I gotta say. I'll just read whichever is, uh, route is open. Tight end is open right there. McCaffrey is open right there. Also, that is about, once again, as well as it'll ever be played. I have a 99, safe, a 99 speed, 99 man coverage safety uh, in man coverage right there. So, once again, if this looks covered, it's not going to be that covered. I promise you guys. So, this is just how to beat man coverage. I guess one thing I want to show you is this PA uh, dig fork. This C route is absolutely killing man. There is... But I can almost give you a guarantee that this will be a touchdown. Most important thing, however, is that you have 90 deep route running there. That's that's the most important thing. You see, he gets a free release, and he's just absolutely gonna toast him. Like once, it, all right. Uh, I don't know why we didn't uh, get more open right there, but you guys see uh, that this is supposed to beat it. I'll show it one more time. If this doesn't work now, that I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna be pretty pissed because this is one of my most consistent beaters against man coverage that I run online all the time. All right, let's just wait. Yeah, okay. The big thing right there is that the safety is there, but you see that it beats man coverage. So that's just one thing that I want to show you guys. PA dig fork, my favorite setup. Drag. Put the tight end on a crossing route, uh, corner route on Thomas against because we have slot apprentice right there. And block the halfback. That's my that's one of my favorite setups. Almost always beats main coverage if it's not, or almost always is a one play touchdown against main coverage uh, if it's not user. Now one thing that I'm gonna kind of end this main coverage segment uh, on is I guess two things. Let's first talk about one of the most meta main coverages. Two two curl flats. If I now press and shade over top, that's one of the most popular uh, main coverages. In this case, you will see that I, that both the C posts are going to be wide open and right there because, again, that's 900 speed covering it for you. Um, I'll do this again. Oh, no. Um, there you go. Motion snap once again. You see, we get the free release. I guess in this case, I would just hit that every time. You see how we get open? Sadly, can't get totally away for a one-play touchdown because... Yeah, I mean, I just juiced these guys up all the way. They're crazy. But with that being said, these are some nice man beaters. One thing that is very underrated is a setup like this. If I want to run Flood, I'll just press Shade over top if I throw this out route on break with a low pass you see how he gets open um, that was a, a very bad throw I want to throw this again so snap the ball right there you see how he gets open on that low pass very very nice thing so it's important to know which zones your opponent is putting out there for example, a man-beating play uh, that attacks the the sidelines is not going to be great against an opponent that puts two curl flats out there. Because obviously the curl flats are supposed to cover it. In that case, you have to be a little bit smart and you have to think. So if I notice that my opponent puts these two curl flats out there, I would go to a setup like this. I just want to have the tight end crossing out in case it's there. But I would go with something that attacks the middle and also something that attacks the sideline short so a zig crossing route angle route combination let's snap the ball right here really easy read it just depends on what your opponent is using at that point so be smart don't put uh i guess three tips um no uh know if your opponent is kind of switching it up that you can't always run man beaters because if he's switching man and zone and you're getting man, you're trying to run a man beater. Not lot, not many man beaters are also good against zones. So keep that in mind. Be smart when you use them. Secondly, is to have route combinations that don't go, uh, that don't have two receivers in the same spot. And thirdly, I guess will be 
know where your opponent is putting the zones and attack the areas where he's not putting the zones. So if you, a lot of people just do set, set it and forget it, defense put two uh, safeties in curl flats. In that case, I just attack the middle all day long. So that's just important to keep in mind. Think, think really hardly about or think hard where your opponent is going to put his zones and then attack the areas he's not putting zones in. Because then that's where the man, the man being runs are obviously going to uh, eat and just destroy my coverage. All right, that's enough for man beating. Uh, it's really about playing a lot of games online and figuring out what setups you like. It really depends on you. It's just important to know which routes work and you always want to mix it up. Just know which routes work. Put route combinations together that don't have two people ending up in the same spot. That's enough for man coverage. Let's now go through the place. I'll show you pretty much everything I know about zone beaters in this formation. Yeah, let's get to it. Starting off with bunch offset, let's get into the double post. Uh, the route that this play is named after is the red route on the screen right here. And I'll go against Picnic Clover G because what you can do if you're interested is you can sub in a running back at any of the wide receiver spots. And if they come out in something like Big Dime 1 for 6, which is a very popular pass defense again this year, uh, you can audible down and just run the ball out of um, I from close for example and that'll just be a pain in the ass to stop for your opponent out of nine one for six so most of the pass defense you'll face will be against big nickel so that's why I'll be running it against big nickel um, on defense I'll be running cloud flats and once again the route that this play is named after is the circle route this double post it goes outside and then back in it gets in a very nice spot I'll show you this later our first setup is strictly to drag uh, Thomas and then I'll motion snap DeAndre Hopkins at a specific spot. I'll do that right now and it's pretty self-explanatory. So snap the ball right here, boom. The first read on this should always be the tight end. Now right there you see that he gets in a very tender area. Once again, 99 speed, 99 zone, safety is in there. First read always should be the tight end. Drag route on R1. First read is the tight end. You can do an air truck. Uh, some tight ends that, air, that can air truck are Mark, Mark Andrews and Jermichael Finley. I think those two can air truck. I don't know how. I don't know if Darren Waller can, but my guess would be so. Probably also Vernon Davis. Um, but don't quote me on that. I'm not sure which ones can and which ones can't. But just as soon as you get the ball with your tight end, just do a truck. It'll give you kind of like a speed boost. All right. Second read is going to be the drag route. Very often open for a couple of yards. Once again, 99 zone. That's the reason for why this is getting covered so nicely. Um, one more time. Uh, another read that you can make is right there. Uh, the zone bit away to bit down way too much on the halfback, so that's why I thought a post. The halfback round and the post route work really well together, just because they kind of get open with similar timing, and they are. Uh, gonna be covered by gonna have to be covered by a user most likely so you can really read off the user very nicely right there um, just in case or probably you'll mostly be throwing the drag and the flat route maybe the halfback route sometimes but if your opponent starts to run hard flats then this is where this play really gets open nicely you have that corner out that gets open against cover three hard flats very very beautiful you have the post route that gets open even better against star flats um unless it's used obviously but right there in this case this post route it just gets all the way open that is just very annoying for your opponent's user because he's gonna have to drop back to that however it is pretty easy to get picked on it so be careful with throwing that post route users know uh, that that's a good route and no debate that so one more time tight end right there that drag route Usually against cloud flats it works. <laughs> well, and one more time just to show you that this does work. Now, why this light up? It lit up. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, he's just going crazy over there right now. He's just literally covering everything. Uh, but, yeah, the first setup for this is just to drag R1. I guess the lesson that we can learn from this is to not throw it near right there. Very nice. It's to not throw it near a cornerback that is lit up. Yeah, yeah. Don't do it. Besides that, uh, another setup that is very 
easy, quote unquote, is to block the halfback, put the, uh, the tight end on a flat route, R1 on a slant, and motion across. That is all that is to it. there is to it. Last year, Mesh Post was a very nice way of doing this, uh, or Mesh Post was a very nice play to do this out of because the post truck gets in kind of a similar area. But just in general, this also works with this post route. And I would even say that this post route, this double post from circle, is a little bit better than mesh post. So obviously, that is also something that you can do. Very nice. Please make sure to possession catch that because possession catches, they actually work this year. Uh, they go down pretty consistently uh, the way you want them to. So that is definitely something that you should use because you don't want to rack the ball and then have something bad happen to you where the ball gets knocked out. Maybe sometimes you can hit that backside corner out. I'll see right in here. I can't. A very bad swerve by me. But yeah, just read the play. The flat route pulls down any flat zones, and that'll kind of that'll kind of open up uh, the slant route. So those are the two zone beating setups. There are a lot more. A lot of this formation is working off your opponent's user. So right there, boom. You see me get that. Just read the user, be disciplined if you want to, of course you can. You snap this ball right here. Uh, the tight end is always an option for you, right there. Truck up the field, get a couple of yards. That is also something that you can do. This double post play, there are not many steps for it that I would like to show you. It's really just a lot of trying out if your opponent can stop it. Like I said, a lot of man beaters in this. But, we really don't need much else because... You're sending out five routes. Every part of the field is getting attacked with this. And it's just very, very... Thank you, phone. And it's just very difficult to stop everything. You have the flats attacked right and left. You have a, a corner out that gets behind hard flats. Even behind some cloud flats. Um, you have a post that attacks the middle. And also you have a running back leaking out of the backfield. Uh, what else do you want more? It's really difficult to cover everything every play especially if you mix in the other plays so that's enough for double post let's get into the next play pa dig fork and that is actually one of the best cover three beaters and also man beaters like i already showed uh in the entire game let's get to it. pa dig fork i gotta say it is a great play why because it has a very great man beater as i already explained to you guys and the same pa dig fork it is an amazing play for the man beater, as I already explained, that Z route is very, very good against man. The same route also beats cover 3. So if I come in cover 3 on defense, once again, big nickel, because that is going to be the formation we'll face most of the time. The cover 3 beater is comeback route. And then on the back side, you can do whatever you want. I personally like to go out route, crossing route Thomas, and motion snapping Thomas across the field. Because, first of all, I'll show you this cover 3 beater to show you that it works. <sighs> Why is everything getting played right now? Alright, I'll try it one more time. Uh, to show you that it works. Maybe maybe it's not a cover 3 beater for motion. Ah, that might be the reason. Perhaps it's not a cover 3 beater for motion across. Yeah, I got mixed up there a little bit. Okay. But now you see it's a cover 3 beater. Once again... 99 speed, 99 zone coverage, and lit up, best cornerback in the league. Uh, that's why that was that close. In reality, it's not that close. It really isn't. Gonna. Or maybe it is. Perhaps one thing that you... I don't know why it's not working, guys. I really don't. I, I have no idea why it's not working. No, it should work. Deep outdraws, they generally work. Um, snap the ball. Yeah. Tight end doesn't want to block anyone, but that's okay. Right there, you see that it's open. Sorry, uh, the comeback route usually does the trick for me online, but I guess right here it doesn't work unless you put a deep out route out there. That's just out route and then smart route that out route. Okay. Now, let's talk about another setup that I want to talk about. Because I tried to talk about it earlier, but it didn't let me. So, just crossing route on Thomas and block the halfback. Uh, this tight end route, it is very nice for one reason. It is a hitch route on a tight end. That's not supposed to happen. So you see how the tight end kind of releases on his route. Uh, that is a very nice check down. But the main focus on this play is the crossing route for the most part. If I snap the ball. 
Uh, motion snap in my experience is better than uh, letting him set because he gets in that very nice. Wow, that was about this bad of it. That was. Uh, those were two very bad animations. Um, but nevertheless, motion snap him. It's better that way. So right there, boom. Depending on what your opponent you, opponents user chooses, Ooh, that's true. Uh, depending on that. Either hit the crossing route or the in route. Be very patient because that crossing route is open for a long time. Still, that doesn't mean that you can miss your timing. So please, uh, throw it in time. Otherwise, it's too late. Right there. Get it in that area. Can we score? We can't. But that is my second setup. Just generally be patient. Once again, I guess I have to deep out route here. But that's okay. Gonna take some time. And now you see how we just get absolutely wide open. So this is great for the man beating, uh, man beating route that's in this. Once again, this C route does an amazing job of beating man coverage. Also, we can beat quite a lot of zone coverage with this. Another thing that you can do if you want, uh, you can re uh, you, or you can make the deep in route yourself. That's one thing that you can do. And then also, what I like to do, I say do a lot. Do I not? I, I usually say don't, but right there it works. Put the tight end on an out route. That is also thing a thing you can, <laughs> a thing you can run to, to not say do for once. Uh, throw the crossing route. Very nice stuff gets open pretty consistently, but the main route in this play is this C route. So be careful because it takes a lot of time to develop. And if you're getting blitzed, it's probably not the best thing to run this deep crossing route or the post route for that matter. But if you feel like you can get the time, it's very nice, both against co uh, cover 3 and man. It also is a, po a skinny post, sort of, so it also can work against cover 2. No guarantees there, though, because cover 2 can sometimes play pretty funky, depending on uh, where the safety start in the deep half. So if they start more to the middle, then obviously they guard the middle better. better. That's pretty uh, obvious this year, even more than in previous years. I'll try if I can get the. I'll see if I can get the corner out open. I can sort of. So that's also. Oh, he dropped it. But that's also something that you can do if you're interested. But yeah, the main thing about this play is just the sea route. It is gorgeous. Let's not talk about flood. And there are some very nice things I can say about flood. Now flood, I already talked about it being a great play against man coverage. One specific setup that I want to show you guys uh, against man coverage out of flood again. Is let's just come in and cover two right here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, is to have a couple of out routes and in routes. Um, basically, they work the same way. So, this out route, in route, another in route right there. I had a QB spy on the field because uh, someone was manned up on the running back. But most of the times, the guy that's manned up on the running back is going to be user. So, I don't think that is just going to be chilling right there. But right here, you can throw that in route for a couple of yards. Just a lot of outs and ins. They just can beat man coverage. That's just one more thing that I wanted to show you guys. Now talk. Let's talk. Let's now talk about some zone beaters. Uh, my first setup for you guys is to just run the play stock. Just block the running back. Uh, keep the out route because I like to keep the out route. I think that this works very, uh, very well. Um, all right. I want to call cover three because this now is some zone, uh, zone beating type stuff. So that's why I want. To come out in cover three. Flood once again. Cover two, I'll show it also against. Uh, let's just start with cover three sky. And let's. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is just against. Um, just against curl flats. As soon as you see the R1 receiver getting bumped like this, you know it's curl flats. You immediately, immediately throw that um, flat drop. Once again, air truck up the field so that we, so that you get a speed boost. Um, the next read on this uh, also block the halfback, like just streak Hopkins because he gets a, bit, a little bit of a better streak if you restreak him and block the halfback. Crowd flats right here. Now I can throw that low pass right there. It's a very tight window, especially with 99 zone. But that is something you can do, especially if you go up against hard flats on defense. I'm running hard flats right now, and now you'll see how open this uh, in routes will get right here very nice window um backside you still have the uh in route coming so that's also something that you can 
look out for but really the bread is spotted in this play with this flat shot so right there against cloud flats i just hit that right there boom air truck up the field get a couple more yards just make your opponent respect the flat this year especially okay now that i said about the double post um i like to streak put a corner out on uh, thomas and wheel route my halfback now there are a couple of reads in this you can read either the left side or the right side we'll start with the left side as soon as I see the wheel route open for a little bit, I take it, take my f four to five yards. That's very easy to read. Now, let's just say that he's playing hard flats on the left side. So once again, this setup right here. He's running hard flats. That'll allow me to hit that in route right there. Wow, that was that man matched. And in this case, I'll just run this again. See if it man matches again. If it ma man matches again, then this is a cover three beater. So, snap the ball. Actually, I've never seen that man match like that before. All right. So in that case, that wheel route is just a cover three beater. That works with <laughs> that works with me. Uh, I'll see if this beats any cover three because now I'm actually curious. Like if this beats man uh, uh, cover three, and that's amazing. That's just amazing. So just wait. In route. Yep. This beats cover three. Like I said, 99 speed, 99 zone. But this is a cover three beater. Wow. Very interesting. But yeah, this is the setup. Left side, right side reads the same. You can you don't have to put a corner out out there. Hi Marco, he's online right now. Um But just depends on what you want. Right there. Yeah, truck up the field, get a couple of yards. Very easy setup. This flood play, it's not rocket science. You can really run that pretty easily. That's pretty much Excuse me. That's pretty much all there is to it. Just flat route, drag route, motion snap. All right, I'll take that. Or not, I guess. But yeah, that's all about uh, all about flood. If you want to learn some more setups, all that is in the ebook. Go over to my Twitch, follow there. Let's get into the next play, which actually I think is gonna be uh, mesh post already. So we're flying through this pre uh, pretty quickly. Mesh post actually works the same. Uh, is in pre in this in the previous years. Let's let's call it very important. I didn't me haven't mentioned this yet. Every single one of these plays is with the bunch to the wide side. So that's just something to keep in mind. First setup, really easy. Just reflat the tight end because this flat is better than the uh, one that's on him uh, in the regular play, and put a hitch on there. Some people like to motion snap. I personally don't. I want to keep him in there. And first read is this running back. If we can throw that. This is very good against the cover three. It's not that great against the cover two. So be wary of those cover two folks. Um, yes, but this uh, we all can pretty much be thrown against anything. It doesn't beat man coverage this year like it did last year. So that's kind of a bummer. But we can still throw it against cover three. Now what else is there on this play? There also is, probably that should be your first read. There also is the flat route. So just take that couple of yards. Very nice. Flat routes this year, again, they're crazy good. I really like them. But yeah, this is probably my most called play out of, or my most run setup out of this. Next read would be the hitch. Right there. Some very nice yards. And the last read. Obviously, if your opponent's user decides to cover the hitch, then you obviously throw the post. Very, very simple stuff. Another setup, just like last year. Uh, out route, slant route, and motion snap. Pretty much the same reads. Either the, right here, you either re, uh, throw the throw to the wheel route or the slant. If the slant gets covered by a user, then you look to hit the post. Pretty simple. It's the same play. And I'll run this one more time, and then I'll get into my final setup, which I actually also think is pretty good. Not gonna lie. Okay, I'll just. That was a very slow pass. Not gonna lie. I expected that to be a little bit quicker. But this works. Um, next setup is just stock. Block the halfback and then just run it the way it is. I like to reflat, but that's just me. Motion snap to the outside. Right there you can. And just read. Just read the play. First read, of course, should, al it should always be the flat, honestly. So, nice post. Motion out. Alright, flat is there. I'll take it. Truck up the field, get a couple of yards. 
very simple. It really is just about being disciplined with this. And it's a very nice change of it. It's a nice quick hike play. You don't even have to motion out like right there. You see how it gets picked. Okay, probably you need to motion out. Alright. Keep motioning out. That's probably better. My hair is pissing me off. Um, so motion snap. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Tiny window there. Once again, 99 speed, 99 zone. About as close as it'll ever be. This is way more open. I don't lie. But yeah, just read it out. Once again. Great quick hack play. That's pretty much all there is. One thing that I probably should show. So I will. Because I do the things that I should. Um, the post route does a very nice job of beating main coverage. That also That's also something to be mentioned. Like right there on break. He gets inside right there. It's not as cl clean as the double post out of the play called double post. But it still works. Something to keep in mind. Otherwise, this play this play is not great against main coverage anymore. Because the wheel route doesn't beat main coverage. The thing that's closest to a man beating play in this is the slant. But still not great. But against zone. Boy, boy. If you pass Lee correctly, they are not up the field. It is very nice. That's all for Mesh Post. You guys know how good Mesh Post is. You guys that have played Madden for a couple of years. It's been one of the most popular plays pretty much all year. It's actually the first play that I uploaded on this YouTube channel. So I feel kind of nostalgic uh, towards it. It is a very nice play. Let's now talk about another play that has a wheel route from the running back. That is also pretty glitchy. Yes, it is pretty similar to Mesh Post. Also, the name is pretty similar. Let's talk about Mesh Spot. You have a tight end wheel route in this and a running back wheel route. Very nice against cover three. Pretty much exclusively against cover three. It's not great against many other things. Um, my setup for this is pretty much my only setup. You can obviously get, get creative, but I'm not that creative of a guy. So, yeah, you came to the wrong channel. Um, there are obviously some things you can do depending on what your opponent does. But I personally just like this setup. Because now right here I can throw that throw the tight end. That is a nice window that opens up. And I still have the running back. One thing that should not be overlooked is uh, is if I put a flat route right there. Then if I motion snap to the outside, I can throw that for a couple of yards. Actually, very bad. Very bad turn up the field. I guess the better thing, though, to be honest, would be to put him on an out route. So. Excuse me. I just ate... A burger and some fries so please excuse me <laughs> all right out route motion snap right there opens up this window very nice possession catch go down and if you feel like nothing is opening you feel uncomfortable you still have the hitch route you can go back to maybe i should let him set a little bit more okay right there throw that hitch for a couple of yards that's always there for you there's not much more to this play than this let's get right into the next play Actually, I don't know this setup off, off uh, by heart, so I might have to go back there. Okay, boom. There are actually some setups right there. So, the play that I'm talking about is Smash Return. That was, that's a play that I ran into a couple of, or this week in League a couple of, of games ago. And I have to say, it does look pretty good. Smash Return is going to be the play coming out, uh, with, uh, coming out against cover three. Again. Um, and the set for this is to streak, to drag, and yes... Wheels running back because we like to do that. We like to do that. We motion snap him or not. I guess you can motion snap him, but I like to motion him to the outside. And right here, you just make the read. Like, it's just that simple. Right there against cover three. If I get a little bit of a better throw and my quarterback is not under pressure, maybe that'll work. But yeah, very nice setup. One thing that you also can do out of this, I don't know why I started off, why I didn't start off with that, is post, streak, uh, square streak uh circle and now this will be a cover three beater so yeah he got bumped so that's why he's a little bit slow yeah if you get bumped like that then tough luck i guess i'll make sure he doesn't get bumped this time so you guys see that this is a cover three beater so and also backside or to the left going to the left you have the post drop so that's also something that's fun right here yes Yes, so you see this is a cover three beater because we have the corner out pulling down a deep zone over there. So very, very nice stuff. One thing, or one other setup that I like is 
zig route the solar receiver post route what is it actually okay i'll this is not a play that I regularly run, but this is just something that I discovered in practice. From what I've seen, it looks pretty good. Uh, so that's why I'm showing it to you guys, and that's why I'm not completely sure on the setups just now. But, yes, this is, it. Th this is what it is. Uh, once again, uh, I want to remind you that somebody in Weekend League tore me a new one <laughs> last week. So that's why I want to show it off, because I feel like it's pretty good. Um, yes, I even got some extra setup for you. Setups for you that he did not run. So this is also an option. The zig route over there acts like a like a hitch route would last year or did last year. So that's why I like it. It just drags down any zone that could cover it over there. So once again, I just want to show you that I can throw this post. I can throw this post right there. Just in front of the zone. Very, very nice. This is something that you should definitely try out. Maybe mix in some other to some other place. Uh that works that I've discovered uh to work. Or I found to work really well. So that's all for Smash Return. And once again, the uh, thing that I just read this from, I uh, is the ebook, is the document. <laughs> like I said, I'm, I keep repeating myself, but check out the Twitch. Follow me over there. I'll send you this stuff over. It's gonna be very helpful just to keep looking up things and just to have it. Don't have to watch the entire video, and you can read everything. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's talk about the next play. Which is actually going to be verticals. Verticals. Very nice play. Year in year and year out. Madden veterans know how good it is. Let's talk about it. We're actually already pretty far with the Gunbound Shafted formation. We're pretty much done with it. There are two more plays that I want to show you. And it's this C spot. And go, I got to say it is one of the better corner routes in this playbook. Um, because it beats cover 2 and it also is pretty nice against cover 3. It's not great, but it's decent. And I want to show it to you guys. C spot and go. First gonna call it against cover two. This is better against cover two than it is against cover three, but I'll show you. <clears throat> the setup is just streak Hopkins, put a deep in route on square and the wheel route. Again, it's that concept. So if we snap the ball right here, you see how that corner route gets open against cover two. That is the same route pretty much uh, that got open against cover two last year of corner strike. If you rem if you guys remember, if you were following my channel back then, um, the West Coast ebook. On the Gumbunch formation had that corner out in it and it's just it's still completely destroying cover two like right there nothing is close to it once again 99 speed 99 zone out there still nowhere close to getting that so that's probably the only setup uh, there is this also works against cover three pretty uh, pretty fine sadly I only have cover three mesh so I'll see if I can make it work just regular old cover three um, You'll see that this corner out does get open a little bit. Actually, not even a little bit. Um, this gets open if your opponent, uh, like, deep halves or whatever. That is something that your opponent might do to prevent a cover 3 beater from happening. Something like that. If your opponent does that, then now if I run the play, you'll see how that gets open. Sometimes, if you scare your opponent enough and go for enough cover 3 beaters, they might do that to you. Also, now that... I mentioned that I want to talk about a cover three beater in this uh, that is very nice um, if you put a slot apprentice this corner out there this now beats cover three very nicely so right here cover three once again I'll snap the ball now you see how we get that streak open behind the deep third right there that was a pretty bad throw because I got pressured but you see how the streak is just streaking down the field just like little Farrell Snapping the ball one more time just to show you that this works. It is a tight window, but you can definitely throw that in there with a little bit slower, uh, slower uh, safeties and a little bit in cornerbacks with a little bit worse zone. All right, that's all pretty much for this play. Once again, it's all about that in route, uh, wheel route combination on the backside. So right there, as soon as I see this, boom, dumping it off. Getting a couple of yards very easy. If you're getting pressured, this wheel out is amazing. But you won't get pressured that much, so you'll have you'll mostly have time to read the entire play, right there. Do that, boom, see, uh, zoom it in there. But that's all for uh, Z's button go. Let's now talk about words half back under. Um, this is a cover three beater, even though it doesn't look like one. It is a cover three beater. I blocked the tight end just to make sure I have another thing. Or that I have another player blocking for me. Backside in route, that's what I like. And I personally want to keep the halfback out there. Because I want to 
make it look like it's oh that's cover two. <laughs> uh, I personally want to make it look like uh, I'm out in the play uh, double post because that's just the play that I'm gonna uh, use most often so verticals lock the tight end boom do the motion snap if you can right there very nice just getting covered i don't know why it's getting covered uh let me actually um do a quick change of play maybe it's the cover three maybe this cover three works a little bit better against or well, it defends it a little bit a little bit better i can't speak right now i'm very sorry so on, on the offense will once again still i, ca I can't speak where's effect under is going to be the play uh let's deep out route once again i'll just max protect right now what the hell what the hell motion snap Boom. Fit that in there. Alright. It was just that cover three match guards it pretty nicely. It seems. Yes. Uh, that is pretty much all there is two verticals this year. They uh, patched their wheel rods to where I can't motion snap it. So you see I tried to motion snap right there. It didn't work. But to make up for it, this crossing route now beats, man, uh, beats cover three. If you get the time. That's the most important thing. Just getting time for those speeders. Still, I, I just want to reiterate to you guys. This is just stock a great play. Like, boom. There is just so many different openings that can... Uh, there is just no, so many different parts of the field that get attacked with this. So there's always a chance. But it's not as great as it was in previous years. Cover 2. This is a great cover 2 beater. Um, what I would do is I would streak the tight end because we have a fast guy right there. Put an out route on Thomas. Motion out. And now I'll just have to get the time. That's the most important thing. Get the time and then I can fit that in along the sideline. It's a pretty tight window. You have to get the timing down precisely against cover 2. So if I were you, I would take this into practice mode and just try it. Just try to figure out the timing and just get good at it. That's all there is to it. And just motion out. The streak down the middle is very good for um, taking away the deep path a little bit. Right there, see, I waited too long, so that was not great. I'll try it one more time. Just know you can fit that in, it's just a pretty tight window, so be careful with it. Motion out, just like that. Very important for this, you have to bunch to the white side. All right, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's really difficult to throw, but it's a lot of yards and you're, it's not gonna be covered by user. You just have to get the timing down really precisely. Yeah, this vertical it has got a great cover three beater. And if you want to motion out, then you also have a great, sometimes, let's see if I can throw that. No, I can't. 99 zone, just guards it perfectly. Um, Yes, cover two beater. I cover three, one play touchdown. Beats cover two because it gets over cloud flats. That's all for this uh, part of the Gun Bunch ebook. Let's now talk about Gun Bunch, Gun Bunch FX Strong, which has some very nice routes. Not gonna lie, I looked at this and I thought this might be the better formation because it has this C routes from this whole receiver. Does this remember you of something? Uh, if you played Madden 17, then you will know how tough this is. But we'll get into all of that uh, with enough time. Let's first talk about the audibles. The only audible you're going to set for uh, Gamma Traffic Strong is instead of verticals, you'll put in wide trail. The money play of this formation, it truly is this C spot. And I'll call it right now. And you guys, like I said, Madden 17, you remember how powerful this was. Now, I will start by kind of like giving you the idea of this play. This uh, C route, if you can smart route it, once again, it's very good smart route if you're somewhere between uh and a down in distance of around elf, <laughs> elf. uh if you don't know 11 or elf is 11 in german uh somewhere between 8 and 12 yards somewhere around there uh this works on the back side it's all about having some check down options you're gonna force your opponent to use or cover that z route uh and then you can hit him underneath that's pretty much the idea of it so right there you can see i hit that they hit me and I dropped the ball. But there is a window you can throw that in. Pretty much on the right side, it just depends on what you want to have. Uh, I like to have a drag, a, a slant behind it. You can also, if you want, just to have the option against cover two. Uh, you, if you want to have that corner out there, you can. 
This also gets over top of cover two. But it really is just about that Z route. Find um, what gets it open for you. Um, I don't know if that's pause, but it, it might be a pause. S shading underneath and over top. So motioning out again, snapping the ball. Do I get the time? Yes, I do. Fit that in. It is a very nice route. It's pretty difficult to throw if it's not smart about it. And it used to be a cover three beater in Madden 17. You think that I left that if I want to do an ebook on it, but I didn't. So let's do some live testing. See if this still beats cover. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't beat cover three. Also throwing it right at the zone, so that's great. But in general, this C route, it really does a nice job of getting in between zones. And it's just really difficult to guard. Yeah. Also, one nice thing that I want to explain to you guys is... Let me throw this dot right here real quick. <clears throat> uh, if you, Because you have the halfback on the side of the bunch, you can chop block really easily out of this. Like, really easily. Just double team the, the tackle. That'll chop block there. And then now you see how easily I can get outside of the pocket there. So if you need a couple of yards, put in a fast quarterback chop block to the bunch side and just roll out do you guys remember anything from about last year do you guys remember roll out corners let me just throw one at you right there boom yes <laughs> that was not that great but roll out corners are back if you get a, a proper escape artist right there this can work beautifully for you Halfback, 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 man. We gotta talk. <laughs> we gotta talk. I'll try one more time. And then I'll just say, alright, it works, so go do it. Yes. Uh, yes, as you saw, that worked perfectly. <laughs> but yeah, the, the main, main idea of this play, just to get back to it, is the Z route. And that's probably my favorite route combo right there. My favorite option. Two in routes. And the zero, it's just a lot to cover for your opponent. Let's now talk about something to attack the sidelines with. I'll go through this a little bit quicker because I don't think it, it is as good as uh, Kamran Trav said. Streak and t uh, put the right receiver on the corner route. And then I personally like to in route. And if you want to get really creative, put the uh, flat route out there. So you have another read. If you want to put the flat route out there and you don't feel like they're getting pressure on you and you don't have to block the halfback, then that is, of course, your first read. Uh, white trail. But if you if you want to keep in uh, keep the halfback in the block, now we get to the rollout corner stuff. So if I motion to the outside right here. This is now the rollout corner stuff. So, yes, this is bag. Uh, back also cover three beater right here cover cover three beater alert if i were you uh, if i were you and i'd run the anyone around the cover three beater keep the regular corner out that works better so if i can chop block right here uh that was pretty bad because like the post brought the guy right where it didn't need him to be the safety i'm talking about of course uh so i'll just adjust also, like, the safety is just way too much in the middle, I have to. Or way too much to the right, I need to put him to the middle. So, white trail. Something like this, maybe. We're just trying to show that this is a cover three beater. So, snap the ball. Boom. Nice. Nice. What are you going to do about it? These people, they're just flying all over the field. Just trust me, this works in Ultimate Team. I, I don't actually know why. I didn't even need to put 99 zones out there. You guys believe me that this works. But I just wanted to make it uh, difficult. <laughs> because that's how I am. Uh, but I'll try it one last time. Chop block right here. Boom. Yeah. He's just getting bumped all the way inside. Right there. Try to do that. It's a cover 3 beat. I don't know why it's not working. Anyways, let's talk about some other setups. I have all of them written down right here. I want to go through it a little bit more, but that's generally my uh, favorite one. So, yes, another one that you can do, let's go back to white trail, is you can put the slab receiver on the post. Ah, uh, no, what do, you, what do you want to do? You want to flat the tight end, you want to slant circle. Now you have 
uh, a two-way levels concept. So motion snap right there, a, a circle right there, or R1 right there. Really just depends on what your opponent is using. If your opponent is really cheating down heavy and you feel like you can hit that post route behind them, then do that, obviously. But I'll just run this one more time. Uh, just snap the ball right there. And right here I can hit it. I can hit that window. It's pretty tight. But I like this setup because it's pretty similar to the mesh post setup, if you guys remember. And it gets open very nicely. So that's probably my second favorite setup. Uh, flat, uh, just block the halfback, flat the tight end, post route on Thomas, slant on Hopkins, motion snap across. And in the game, as soon as I see that, boom. Low pass. Even though it was inaccurate, still caught it because it was not that inaccurate. Also, uh, D-Hop is a pretty good wide receiver. But this is pretty much all for white trail. Sadly, that po that post route is not great at beating cover three. At least I haven't had any luck with it online when I tested it. I'll just see. I'm really just chucking up a prayer right here. If it works, then great. But otherwise, no, it doesn't work. Yeah. Um. Seems seems to me that that post route is a little bit too uh sh too uh, has a little bit too sharp of a cut. So it's not as um it's not carrying down the field enough. So it doesn't seem like it's working. Yes, white trail. That's pretty much all there is. You can run it stock. Also, that is like it's like a pretty decent play to run stock. That angle route is pretty decent. I I, I can't believe I haven't mentioned that yet. Um, this angle route from the tight end, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. If you wanna get, if you wanna get that corner to go a little bit deeper, that's what she said. Then you can obviously do that right there. Boom. That was a corner. Um, this is of course safer if you wanna. If you want to really only get the corner out open, streak right here, and this should work. As it doesn't work. Ha. Fun. But, if this doesn't work, generally online you're going to have a one play touchdown because this works. <laughs> online it works if you don't have 99 speed, 99 zone. Yes, that is pretty much all there is to that play. The other setup is, of course, slant and the motion across. Enough for white trail. Let's get into what that what's that play called? PA bunch shot. Yes, uh, that's a play that's pretty similar to last year's uh, wide receiver post out of the West Coast offense. So we'll get into that right now. Also, pretty sweet cover four beater. So this is something to get some pretty easy touchdowns on people that just want to run cover four on you. So yeah, let's get into it. Actually, I didn't even know this. If we're done with this play, then we're done with this entire ebook. So you made it through. Congratulations to everyone who made it through the video. We'll be talking about cover four now, so that means that I have to get into dime one for six. Uh, once again, guys, if people are run di running dime on you, just audible down. It's the easiest thing. But pretty much all you need to do is, I personally like to crosser or post, one of the two. See which one gets open for you better. And then just snap the ball. Oh, also, curl uh, circle. And now you see how this gets open. Yeah, once again, this is... It's just getting covered by everyone. I mean, usually you're not going to get the post route defended by the inside quarter. Like, this is this is just stuff that's not going to happen. Right there, you see, that's how it's supposed to work. Richard Sherman with 99 speed. It's just, it's just a problem, man. It's just, in zone coverage is an absolute problem. But, with this, you're going to you're gonna uh, take care of that problem pretty easily. Once again, snap the ball. Nice, 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 and BAM! Sorry, I screamed a bit, a bit right there, I'm very sorry about it. But you see how this works now. This also is a cover 3 video, you guys, from last year. Probably remember. Uh, something like this, crossing route, corner route. You have to smart route Julio Jones for this, and once again, you have to be somewhere around 8 to 12 yards, because otherwise this just doesn't work. Um, I'll try to not get pressured. So that's going to be my main goal. Not get pressured. And so, yeah. It's not even a guarantee this year because that post route is just a, pre a little bit too steep, apparently. I got it to work in practice mode and in one game, I think I got one touchdown off this cover three bump. But it's definitely not something consistent. Um, because this is so similar to last year's uh, why you see your post? I just I just need to show this off. Uh, crossing route on R1, slant on Hopkins, flat on the tight end, 
and now if you motion across this is pretty much the same play from last year just snap it read it out throw that crossing out with the pass lead down damn what a terrible swerve by me i guess probably my bad you should post post put a post on r1 smart route and then it's pretty much the same play as wide receiver or as white trail is right there getting it knocked out but you see that this is open yeah that's pretty much all there is to say about the final part of this ebook um as i'm looking at this document right here there's some things that are still missing that i have that i haven't voice track <laughs> that i haven't written down yet so i'll have to get to that as soon as it's ready i'll put out a tweet with the link with the link to my twitch in there obviously like i said follow the twitch i'll send you a whisper over uh over uh, the twitch platform be ready for that it's a great ebook if you haven't watched all the videos yet i highly recommend it i'll put together uh, a playlist put it in the description also so you guys can check out all the parts of this ebook i gotta say it is one of the best uh offenses in the game right now and also probably the easiest passing offense there is so you guys definitely should should take advantage of what i've uh like combined here for you uh this bundle it's solely for free like i said following is free over on twitch uh yeah that's all there is i hope you enjoyed the video once again uh thank you very much you this youtube channel it's been a lot of work but it also has been a lot of fun and i've gotten some great uh feedback on it and, and i appreciate you guys for that pretty much anytime i open up the uh, youtube creator like youtube creator support app i don't know what it's called in youtube studio that's what it's called and i see the nice comments i'm very happy i'm thankful about you guys couldn't do it without you appreciate you see you in the next video we're gonna have fun with this offense not sure which offense I'm going to do next, but probably the Patriots, so stay tuned for that. Goodbye and see you in the next video. I don't know why I just kissed them. I'm sorry. Let's, let's just end the video.